Hello, welcome to Actred Village Kitchen. Today I'm sharing with you my garlic and coriander nuts. They're such a great side to about just about anything. Serve it with soups and it's just so yummy. To find the full recipe, go to www.actredvillagekitchen.com. So let's get right in. You need some well-proved yeast, some warm milk with melted butter, some egg and flour. Mix in the egg. First of all, whisk it and add it to your well-proofed yeast and whisk it all together until it's well incorporated. Then set it aside. Now place your flour in your mixing bowl and add in the wet ingredients as the warm milk and melted butter and the yeast. Mix the mix everything into a dome. Rinse out your the yeast bowl with a little bit of water and add it to the dough. You want a slightly sticky dough but not too wet. Mix it until it all comes out from the sides. Then cover it with a, a tablecloth, place it in a warm place and let it rest for a little while. After 15 minutes of resting, start kneading the dough i'm using my machine to help me to knead the dough and it's so much easier but you can use your hand to knead as well when the dough is ready when you pull it apart it won't just break like that when it's ready it will pull it will be stretchy when you pull it and you know the dough is ready now that the dough is ready take it out of the pan or your mixing bowl Form it into a bowl using your hand, oil or butter your mixing bowl, place the dough back in, allow it to double up in size, that will take about an hour. On a floured surface, just shape the dough back into a bowl without pressing out much of the air. Now cut it up into little pieces, just sizable for, you know, one knot or for a person. See, just little pieces. And now you roll it out into an oblong shape. So that you'll be able to tie it up into a knot just like you're tying a string into a knot so you want that oblong shape and then you tie it into a knot that's all so easy now place it on a, um, a pan where which has been lined with some baking sheet and go through all the dough until you are all done once all the knots have been tied cover it with a tea towel allow it to double up in size again and then it's ready to be baked but before that we need to brush it with our herbs as our coriander chopped coriander the melted butter with garlic some cheese matcha i used matcha cheddar cheese so you brush your knots with the melted butter and garlic go through all of them brush it with your melted butter and garlic make sure you've got enough garlic on each knot sprinkle with your matcha cheddar cheese as much as you want if you want more add less if you don't add less and then add your chopped coriander fresh coriander works really well so use fresh coriander sprinkle it and bake at 200 degrees celsius and there you have it to enjoy with your family and friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel recommend and like and share with everyone thank you bye